If you have installed Linux on its own partition in a dual boot configuration, there's usually no easy uninstaller that will remove it for you. Instead, you'll likely need to delete its partitions and repair the Windows bootloader on your own. Let's take a closer look at how to get all that done. Step 1, Delete your Linux partitions. First, you'll need to delete the Linux partitions. Start by booting into Windows. Right-click this computer, open Disk Management. In the Disk Management app, locate the Linux partitions, right-click them, and delete them. You can identify the Linux partitions because they have no label under the file system column, while Windows partitions will be identified by their NTFS file system. Next, locate the Windows partition near the newly available free space, right-click it, and select Extend Volume. Extend the partition so that it takes up all of the available free space. Any free space on your hard drive will remain unusable until you assign it to a partition. Step 2, Fix the Windows Bootloader. Linux has now been removed from your computer, but its bootloader persists. We'll need to use a Windows Installer Disk or Windows Installer USB to fix it. Restart your computer, and let it boot from Windows Installer Disk or Windows Installer USB. You're going to be accessing the command prompt from the recovery environment. After booting from your installation or recovery disk, skip the initial languages screen, and then click the repair your computer option on the main install screen. On the choose an option screen, click the troubleshoot option. On the advanced options screen, click the command prompt option. At the command prompt, type the following command and then press enter butrec.exe slash fixmber You can now restart your computer. It will boot from its hard drive, starting Windows normally. All traces of Linux should now be erased. Thanks for watching, don't forget like and subscribe. Help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribe.